Node-RED is an extremely powerful automation tool when combined with Home Assistant. But occasionally I noticed that Node-RED would lose the ability to read states and events from Home Assistant properly. This would often result in automations happening at incorrect times or not happening at all. A simple restart of the Node-RED service fixes all these problems. But I don't want to constantly be worrying about whether or not my automations are going to actually work. The simple fix to this problem is to set up something called a watchdog. A watchdog in programming terms is when your main program performs some operation at a set interval and another program, which is called the watchdog, watches for that event. If the event doesn't occur in a set amount of time, the watchdog then restarts the main program to restore functionality. In this case, Node Red will be performing an action at a set interval and Home Assistant will act as the watchdog. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to assume that you are already running HASIO 0.6 or higher with Node Red and an MQTT broker already installed. There are a bunch of great videos on YouTube about these subjects. I highly recommend you check out Bra Automation and Dr. Z's if you're just getting started with Home Assistant. Step one, we're going to add some entries to your configuration.yaml file. We'll start out with an input boolean. I called mine node underscore red and I gave it a friendly name of node red watchdog. I also set its initial state to on. We'll also need to make an MQTT sensor for node red with a state topic of check in front slash node red and very importantly on this line we need that last status to expire after 300 seconds. The correct syntax for the YAML file is down in the description below. After restarting Home Assistant, you should now have entity IDs for the Node Red input boolean and the Node Red MQTT sensor in Home Assistant. Step two. In Node Red, I'm going to install a node packaging package using Palette Manager called Node Red Contrib Light Scheduler. Uh, it's super useful, and I think you should probably install it even if you're not going to use this watchdog. Uh, if you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you already have the Home Assistant palette installed. If not, you'll also need to install that. It's Node Red Contrib Home Assistant. Step three, make a light scheduler node, the one we just installed, and set it to off 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You actually don't need to change anything here because that's how they're set by default. But at the bottom, you need to set it to output minutely. We're gonna attach this to a Home Assistant call service node with the domain input underscore Boolean and the service toggle. You'll need to put the entity ID for the input boolean that we made in step one into this box. A quick note about this part. This section basically just toggles your input boolean every one minute, and there's tons of ways to do that in Node Red. I'm specifically using this method because I use a lot of these light scheduler nodes, and it's possible that they were a point of failure in my automations. So this acts like a watchdog for that specific service also. You could use an inject node here just as easily if you didn't want to install these, uh, this light scheduler node. All right. Back to the setup. Step four, make an events state node with the entity ID of the node red input boolean. Connect this node to a change node that sets the payload to OK, and then attach it to an MQTT send node that publishes that payload to the state topic for our MQTT node red sensor, which was check in front slash node red. These last two steps utilize a service call and an event state read every one minute and send an OK message to Home Assistant if they're functioning properly. The next step is to set up Home Assistant to be the watchdog if either of these Node Red flows fail. Step five, set up an automation in Home Assistant. Uh, set your trigger type to state and your entry ID to be your Node Red sensor. You want it to go from a state of OK to a state of unknown. Unknown is the state that occurs when your sensor hasn't received a message in the last 300 seconds, which is the amount of time that we set for that expiration thing in the configuration.yaml file. Our action is going to be to call the service hasio add-on restart, and the service data for that is a little bit tricky. You need to find the ID for node red by opening up a tab and going to hasio node red and then looking at the ID listed in the URL on the browser. After you've entered that information, click the save button and you're all done. Now if node red loses the ability to call a service or register an event, your node red sensor will change from OK to unknown, which will trigger the automation to restart the node red service. And after restarting node red, your functionality should be completely restored automatically without you having to troubleshoot anything. I'm still pretty new to making these YouTube videos and I'd love to hear some constructive criticism. Let me know down in the comments if you liked the video, if you thought it was too slow, too fast, too technical, too confusing, you get the idea. Thanks for tuning into The Hookup.